What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. I am starting a brand new Let's Play back on the Isle of Sipta because I've been focused a lot on the Exiled Lands recently since Age of Sorcery has come to Conan Exiles. I thought it'd be good to jump back on Sipta and do another Let's Play. I am not going to make any rules for this Let's Play. It's a no holds bar Let's Play. We're going to jump right into it. If you do have suggestions for my gameplay, go ahead and leave those in the comments section below. But otherwise, I'm not going to put any rules on it, but I may take some of your suggestions and add them into my gameplay. So I chose to come right in over here. This is where I wanted to spawn because it is close to a sorcery and it's also close to my favorite dance. So we'll pick that up right away. Now I am playing on a private server. It's one of the WAC Nation servers and you're welcome to join me. All you need to do is jump in the Discord so that you can get all the rules and different things out of the way and the information to join the server. Well, that's weird. I've never seen this before. I didn't even know this was here. Little hidey hole area. That's kind of cool. Let's see if I can get back out. All right. So, brand new character, brand new everything, and pretty sure that right over here, yes, we have the belly dance. Awesome. Gained a level picking up the belly dance. Gotta love that. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Oh, wait. I didn't actually even pick up the belly dance. What the heck? Interact. Interact. There we go. Found the scroll. Belly dance. I guess I drank water and picked up some wood instead of grabbing the belly dance. And of course, it's getting dark right away. Now, at least we have a little bit of light. Go ahead and, uh, oh, hey puppy. I don't, I don't have a weapon yet, bud. It's all right. We'll just kill you like this. Ow, bro. Let me run around you. Here, this will be easier. I'm not chopping the sticks on the ground. That's what I need to do. Okay, let's get some plant fiber so I can get some clothes going. And eat a ton of bugs. All the bugs. We can also roll. We can swing, kick. But what do I got to do to kick? I got to put this away and then I can kick. Oh, no, that's not one of the things. We can climb, though. That'll work. Oh, we already climbed. All right, so... Now that we have some stuff going on, we will craft up some decent food. Also going to make a better torch here. We're going to head up this river, see if we can find some aloe. There's some right over there. And then this river should also lead us right to the area where we can learn sorcery. So we might as well get that knocked out. And then we'll head on. Oh, that crocodile just flew across the screen. <laughs> nice. Oh, are we moving? Oh, for a second there, I thought we were moving through the water. That was wild. All right. Let's go back over here. Should have more aloe. There we go. We'll grab some more aloe. Now, the settings for this server are basically official settings. So... We have the UI mod, and then we also have Pippi installed on this server. That's what makes them unofficial. But everything else is going to be official settings. So if you're looking for a place to play, come on over. Play with us. I got to remember I have this, too. Ha ha. Stupid crocagator. Okay, we're going to head up this direction. I see some more aloe up here. There's also a bird we can go ahead and take out while we're in the area. 
You gonna see me, bird, or are you gonna leave me alone? You might just leave me alone. Cock a doodle doo, buddy! Alright. Nice. Getting those journey steps out of the way as well. Okay, see some more aloe down there. Another crocagator as well. And there's some iron, so we can actually knock out this journey step. Harvest an entire node of iron. We should also probably consider putting some points in our attributes. Oh, there's a boss. Yay. <laughs> I tried to roll, but I was out of stamina, and we have our first whack moment, death. That's okay. We're at the bedroll. We can start that battle all over again. Oh, look. He hasn't even regened yet. All right. We got to get you away from the body. Come over here. Yep. Good. Look at the body and equip. The only thing that's not going to go properly is going to be our weapon. And he's trying to kill us again. There we go. All right. <laughs> nice. That was not the way that I wanted that to go, but it did work out in the end. I think the best thing to use on these guys is pick, even though it's really not going to matter because I can't... Probably can't use some of this stuff for a while. And that's why, at least early game, I do recommend keeping your bedroll on your hotbar. That way you can slap it down real quick if you feel like you're going to die. And that's what happened. I ended up dying. All right, let's get some points going real quick. I think what I want to do is the first thing is get enough in vitality so that I can uh, regenerate health passively. And then I think the other thing I'm going to do is get some authority going. And the last thing is actually going to be expertise. That way I can carry a bit more. So that's where I'm going to start out. And we will pick this back up. I already have my bedroll picked back up. And we'll go uh, harvest these things and head off to get some sorcery. Before I even go and get sorcery, I'm going to place my bedroll here somewhere. Somewhere around here. Yep, right there. I'm actually going to go up and meet this other mini boss that's right up here. And see if we get a legendary weapon out of him. Even though it's not agility based, it should still have better damage than what I'm using. In fact, before we go up, we better repair those too. Should still have better damage than what I'm using, so that should give me a little bit of an edge. And I think, think I can get up to them without too much trouble. We'll go ahead and let those guys do what they're doing. All right, can we jump up there? We can. Oh, gosh, we are climbing funny. Let's go. Okay, and we got to kill this lady first. I think she'll bleed out. 
If not, we'll just run a we'll run a loop. We'll make that guy chase us this way. Now she's dead. Look at the spin to win, brother. Nicely done. He's a pretty easy mini boss to take out. Only 165 health. And he didn't drop his legendary. So we will take the gold dust though, because I'm sure I can use that. Uh, not going to take any booze. We'll go ahead and take the silver, though. Okay. Now, eh, that looks that looks dangerous. That, lo that looks like a, a bad idea. What the heck? Let's do something dumb. I know you guys like it when I say those words. Let's do something dumb. We'll grab these chests as well. Oh, some... Of gray lotus in that one like it all right so for those of you that don't know where we are on the map this is where we're at right here we are at river watch keep and we're gonna head right in here and get sorcery you just follow this all the way to the back and we'll learn sorcery in here there you go Let's see We're going to gain some corruption. That'll be okay. And we have the tome there. We could use the ice bridge to get across, but I think uh, instead we'll just jump down and climb up the other side. We'll get all the goodies that are in these chests over here. Okay, so chest number one, two, three, four, and five. Can't open this one. That one's going to need a key. Okay. Continuing on. And out we go. We did gain a decent amount of corruption while we were in there. In fact, we're still gaining corruption. There we go. It's finally turned off. We're going to pick our bedroll back up. And really, I want to head down to where I want to set up my base camp, which is going to be down on the lower island uh, somewhere. Somewhere down here, I'm going to set up my base camp because I want to be in daylight all the time when I'm at my base so and since there's the personal teleporters with the age of sorcery update I think that'll be perfectly fine placing a base down there and then using the personal teleporters to get around and I'm just going to continue to follow this river just so that I can pick up all the aloe that I can on the way so show you guys where I'm at on the map I am here I'm just going to follow it all the way down and then head down into this area to set up my base. How he saw me. I was hiding right behind this this bush. How could you see me? Wow, he's got moves. He could swing that hammer. Yeah, let's go ahead and take those. We can get a journey step out of the way here real quick. Let's see if we could do it on a thrall. No? Maybe? Come on, buddy. Yeah, go ahead and walk in my smoke. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So we finally made it down here to the water. I do think I'm going to run out, grab this flotsam that's out here floating around. I'm going to try to not fight the enemies in there. I can, I can avoid them. Just come out here. I don't think there's any 
like really good drops from them so yeah no closer for you either grab that haha -ha! you can't swim I can and then we, we got the good run because we got three right here which is really good so that'll help I wonder let's sneak up here to just see if there's a scroll there's this so that's a snake dance and there is sorcerer's scroll right there nice okay you guys can just you can't swim so whatever bro oh <laughs> he's like let me show you let me show you my swim moves bro you just don't want to chase you in the water okay well whatever Okay, getting close to where I actually want to build. I got a little bit turned around, but found my way back to where I want to be. So, leave me alone, Rhino. Fine. Let's get to it. Come on, buddy. What do you got? Show me your best. Stamina. Poke. Nice. Not going to harvest them because I really don't have any more room for stuff in my inventory. Okay, we'll go up this way. Going to stay away from those guys for the moment. Kind of want to stay away from you too, bud. Don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. He didn't see me. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh no. That's a big, big panther. Another panther. Leave me alone. Where can I go to make them leave me alone? This way? Yes. This'll work. Ha! How do you like them apples? They're not really apples, they're something else. But they will leave me alone, and we have reached our destination, and nobody's built here. So, really excited. This is where we're actually going to lay down our roots in this area here. Oh, look at you, little guy. Because it's got plenty of aloe, it's got water, I think it's a beautiful area. It's also got these Komodo dragons, which are good for early game leveling. Let's just... Uh, Give you a few smacks here, Bubba. And even with the Maelstrom going, it's still going to be pretty much light all the time, which is great for content creation. So I don't have to actually mess with, uh, you know, a torch and all of that stuff when I'm just chatting. But yeah, it's got great views. It's a beautiful place. I'm going to lay down some roots right here. It's going to be epic. Come by for the next episode. You'll be able to see what I've started building. And that is going to wrap it up for this one. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Don't forget to whack that like button if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Peace. I'd like to thank all my YouTube members for your continued support. Y'all are absolute legends. If you'd like to become a legend, there's a button that says join on this page. Click that for details. There's two videos on the screen. Click one of those to watch next and I'll meet you over there.